put out a tweet yesterday about his injury. Did you did you know he was going to do that, or did you kind of find out when we did? Uh, no, I didn't know anything about that. Uh, I haven't paid much attention to it. John, is, is it, does the team agree with the assessment of it being a grade two, borderline grade three? Well, you know, that's the thing. It's not something that uh, that we can comment on. You know, the, the, the nature of an injury specific is is really the only person that can comment on that as a person. I mean, there's there's laws along those lines. We're educated by the league in terms of what we're allowed to say and what we're not allowed to say. So that's nothing I could ever begin to comment on. John, I, I, got, I got the sense that fans were thrown off by the contrast between the initial optimism around the injury and then him saying yesterday that it was a more serious injury. Was it, was it a case where you guys realized it was a more serious injury maybe as, as you went along and he tried to rehab it or? You know, that's like, here's the thing. It's like, you don't know. And that's why it's so challenging to stand here and and you get asked questions about injuries all the time and I understand it because it's important. And you don't always know. Sometimes you're hopeful it'll be quicker. I know I'm always hopeful that guys get back quicker, that it's the front end of any kind of a prediction. Sometimes it goes the other way and it's longer and you're disappointed. And that's why it's really tough to to say, I mean, if I get up here and say it's going to be a certain amount of time and it doesn't turn out to be that time and everybody's like, well, you know, you're not being honest with us. It's like, no, you really don't know. That's how medicine works. You just don't know. And, and I sure don't know. I mean, I, there's a range in there somewhere. And, and as a coach, you just try to get your guys ready and you hope that the guys get back. Uh, had he communicated to you that he felt his knee was unstable? Uh, I, I'm not going to get any conversations you have with players. I mean, that's just not something that I would do. We have conversations about things all the time. And those are, those are conversations between me and and guys, whoever they are, really. Just that's all I can say about it. John, with the way he just, again, the way he described it was the borderline seems very severe. In your mind, I mean, do you think he, if you know, if you guys advance, do you think he'll be able to return at all for the playoffs? Well, like I just said, I, I can't know. I mean, I don't know. So I'm, my job and what I'm excited about and what I'm thinking about right now is Sunday. I'm thinking about this team and this practice. We had a great practice today. Uh, I'm excited about that. Can't wait for uh, can't wait to watch the tape on the practice. In all honesty, I can't wait for the meetings tomorrow morning. You know, I can't wait for tomorrow night's meetings. And I sure can't wait for the game to start. You know, I'm going to have to wait because it's not going to start until what 8:20 on Sunday night. But 8:20 Sunday night is what 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 I'm thinking about. And I know our guys are too because they're into it. John, we've seen Tyler do more throwing the last couple of days. How has he looked to you, and how much are you looking forward to getting him out there starting Sunday night? Yeah, I'm hopeful for that. You know, I mean, he's uh, he's worked really hard. Uh, you know, all the guys do. And I, you know, if I could backtrack on that one, now that you made me think about working hard to get back, Lamar has too. I mean, the guys have worked super hard, and Lamar has done a great job working hard, and Tyler has worked super hard to get back, and uh, he's got back on the practice field this week, as you saw. So uh, we'll see where he's at, but I'm excited. Uh, you know, for the maybe that paying off for him, maybe he can be out there. We'll see.